What are we doing today? What are we doing today, Kel? This is a trick question. If I do not answer this right, you might not never see me again. <laughs> we are going to High Clare Castle. Mm, it's the castle. Famous, notorious, renowned for its role in Downton Abbey. Correct. Which Amy really loves. You'll love it. Woo! We're going to have high tea and a tea party. Okay, now I'm really excited. I'm going to drink my tea. Tea time. No, not tea. All right, let's go. With many Downton Abbey and Lord of the Rings destinations, we have a very big day ahead of us. I am pumped. Oh, and that's Silbury Hill, a prehistoric man-made hill dating back four and a half thousand years. We thought that was pretty cool. Hidden deep within its beautiful estate is the main set of Downton Abbey, High Clare Castle. So Amy, you've seen the show. Mm -hmm. What are you most excited about seeing? The inside of the castle. That's it? <laughs> yeah. There's not any significant things that happen in certain rooms or anything like that? I don't know. What about like the room where Snape kills Dumbledore? The current version of the castle was built in 1842 by Charles Barry, the same dude who designed the Palace of Westminster. The style of the house was described by old Barry as being Anglo-Italian and is made from the iconic honey-colored bath stone that you see all over the Cotswolds area. Alright, well, so we saw the inside of Downton Abbey's castle. Um, we couldn't film inside. So we didn't, because we always follow the rules. Do we actually follow always. the rules? Always. We're good, obedient little munchkins. <laughs> I was really surprised that like the film really used the house as it is and not just like bring in new furniture or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And they just used it like the rooms as uh -huh. it was. And they have like, you know, fencing essentially. Yeah. But they yeah, take like all ropes and yeah. yeah. But they take that all away for filming and they just use the original furniture. Yeah. I thought that was really cool because hmm. I thought like I wouldn't recognize a lot of the rooms because, you know, yeah. I thought the film crew brought in their own sets and stuff, but no. Yeah. I recognize everything. <laughs> Making so many damn epic Instagram shots for Amy over here. Sometimes I don't know if I'm her boyfriend or her professional photographer. You're just my photographer, cut out the professional. Hmm, at what point should I start getting concerned? So we've been exploring the High Clare Castle Garden. Gardens, <laughs> which is huge by the way. Once you drive into their estate, you have to drive for like five minutes before you even get to the castle. Yeah. It's crazy. It smells absolutely fantastic. Off to the next destination. 45 minutes from High Clare Castle lies the village that became mega famous for depicting Downton in the show, Banton. We have just arrived in Bampton. Oh, what is Bampton known for? Bampton is known for Downton Abbey. <laughs> it's a big Downton Abbey day today. <laughs> yeah and it's super quiet. During non-COVID time, like there'll just be tour buses here. So we're really lucky to have to <laughs> see it, take a photo. <laughs> we're so lucky that the world's falling apart. No, that's not what I meant. It's terrible. Downton Abbey, behind the scene. Ah. And filming of Downton Bampton. Between 2010 and 2018. Okay. It's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. This apparently is the library, but in the show, it's a hospital, I think. Ah, I think. <laughs> Aren't you meant to be the biggest fangirl in the world? I'm not your tour guide. 
This is Church Gate House, which in downtown is Crawley House, where okay. Matthew Crawley lives. Matthew he, Crawley, everybody. You know who that is? She, of course. He's the guy that crawls <laughs> all over the place. That is the church. Oh yeah. In, in Downton Abbey. Everything here is from Downton Abbey. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. There's I mean, not a single person yeah, here. <laughs> we're the only ones here, it's amazing. I just love these old little European churches and their graveyards. Yeah. Like legitimately, it's always so quiet and peaceful and they're so beautiful. St. Mary's Church is a beautiful and peaceful little 12th century Romanesque style church. It blends giant arches typical of the Roman style with Gothic additions of the following centuries. Oh, so the church in Downton Abbey is like actually quite important because like Lady Mary got married here and also, you know, they had funerals here like, I forgot her name, but Matthew's fiance. taking a nice little stroll through Bampton, very peaceful. And people are just selling jam yeah. outside of their houses. That's so cute. Oh. It really just shows how different this is from in the city. Yeah. Uh, people just trust you to like pay and like yeah, exactly. take it. It's so yeah, good. I think that's really cool. Like the community vibe. Yeah. Really cute. Yeah, yeah, but exactly. Like coming from a city, you never get that. No, no. No, no I don't trust nobody. <laughs> A short 30 minute drive from Bampton lies a village known as the Venice of the Cotswolds. Welcome to Borton on the Water. Borton is famous for the wide and shallow river that runs right through and is crossed by five iconic low arched bridges. It also happens to be a prime location for some British style chillin'. A leisurely 2k walk away lies the quaint village Lower Slaughter. The name stems from the Old English word slough, meaning wetland, on which the village happens to be built. We have made it to our last destination of today. No, that's not true. Second to last. Second to last destination of today. The first destination that is not a Downton Abbey destination. <laughs> and it's awesome. Now we're in a town called Slaughter pretty dangerous place as you can imagine <laughs> and well it's just the most gorgeous little Cotswold town you can imagine yeah all the homes just look ancient it literally looks like you're in the Lord of the Rings movie town a quiet little stream runs right through the village with the most perfectly preserved Cotswold style houses you'll ever see on both sides we found ourselves losing track of time as we wandered along the stream and across tiny bridges and got immersed in what could be a perfectly arranged fantasy movie set piece. I can't breathe anymore because I don't know which house I want. At the west end of Lower Slaughter, you'll find the village's pride and joy, the old water mill. This baby is over a thousand years old and still runs smooth as butter. Oh, now this is peaceful living right here. Yeah. Huh? I would love to have a little cottage. I want to rename myself to Bilbo Baggins and get a house here. I thought you wanted to be an elf. Hobbits have chiller lives. <laughs> they just eat a lot. And they're really happy. Elves have to run around the forest all the time. They get to That's have very double tiring. dessert. Double dessert. Breakfast, second breakfast. Elevenses, luncheon, afternoon tea. Talking about hobbits, the next destination is none other than a Lord of the Rings destination. The small market town, Stow on the Wold. 
Founded by Normans, Stow-on-the-Wold was a bustling trade hub hundreds of years ago. Nowadays, the town is a vibrant shopping centre, with antique shops and art galleries occupying the beautiful limestone buildings. You can even find England's oldest inn, the Porch House, in the town centre. After a chill walk from the centre, we arrive at the town's famous medieval St. Edward's Church. And apparently, there's a very special door here that we have to find. Medieval church. It looks... Really old. <laughs> yeah, really old. It looks like dark ages. St. Edward's Church was built between the 11th and 15th century and is famous for its beautiful churchyard and stained glass windows. Even you fit in that door. <laughs> Would you fit? Oh, you just make it. This door was made for me. <laughs> this is really like a dream come true. This door right here is what inspired J.R.R. Tolkien when he made the door to enter Moria. Speak friend and enter. Nerd alert. As a huge Lord of the Rings fanboy, this is really, this is like a highlight for me. Do you feel like? I feel it. Yeah? Yeah, I feel it. Like if we enter that door, we will see the ancient dwarven kingdom. Oh that one yeah i forgot yeah <laughs> except they're all dead and now there's a balrog an ancient okay, evil okay. and loads of orcs and goblins <laughs> okay let's send kel in there Bye. so let's not go in <laughs> i'm so happy that i got to see the doors of durin with my own eyes After a long day of adventuring and wonderlusting, it's time we head on over to the middle of nowhere. Just arrived at our new Airbnb here in the middle of in nowhere. In the middle of nowhere, <laughs> on the side of the road. And it's in a farm. Check that out, all the wheat fields. Amy and I are gonna have a little race. So, so that bush, like the last tree along here. What? The what? last tree along here. Okay. Go. <laughs> See you later, alligator. <laughs> Touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 